Hi guys, so my good friend from the 1800s, Jacob Rees-Mogg, was challenged in the House of Commons some days ago by Labour MP Fiora Anderson. She asked if there was going to be a debate in Parliament on the impact of Brexit. This is on the second anniversary of the Withdrawal Bill, which Boris Johnson sold to the public as the oven-ready deal, the Withdrawal Agreement. Well, the Right Honourable Gentleman from the Victorian period had this to say in response. My God... We're only days away from the two-year anniversary of the EU withdrawal bill. In that time, there were huge promises made, £350 million a week back to the NHS, huge trading opportunities around the world, a decrease in our cost of living. But was it all worth it, Mr Deputy Speaker? Could I ask for time in government time to debate the impact of Brexit? Could there be a report from the government which would give the impact region by region of Brexit and what that's meant for us all. For good or ill, the country needs to know. Thank you. Exactly. The country needs to know. What are the benefits of Brexit? I'm sure Jacob would be happy to lay out region by region how each of those benefited from Brexit. No? Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We can start prayers every morning, I think, and this I may propose as a formal resolution of the House, with a celebration of Brexit. We should have the Brexit (laughs) prayer and perhaps even... (laughs) Is he trolling people here? You know, I've said before that Brexit is like a cult, like a religion, and he's explaining it exactly how it's like a religion. The Brexit song, beginning Gloria in Excelsis Deo, um, because it has been a triumph for this nation in reasserting its freedom. It's freedom? Really? What freedom are you talking about? Freedom to dump raw sewage into lakes and rivers? Freedom to cut grants to deprived areas like parts of Wales? Freedom to end freedom of movement? What freedoms are you talking about, Jacob? The NHS already had the 350 million on the side of the bus. That was delivered by my rival friend, the member for Maidenhead, in 2018, with an extra 34 billion pound uplift to the NHS by 2023. What? What are? What are you talking about? The extra money for the NHS is coming via social care, which is an is coming via an increase in national insurance. You twerp! My God, we found our upper class twit of the year. 24. Just think of the uh, vaccines that we ha- have and the success of the vaccine rollout. Which is a lie. I'm sorry, Jacob Olbean, you're wrong here. The vaccine rollout has nothing to do with Brexit, but Moggy knows this and continues the lie. Now, when he talks about the vaccine rollout, well, this is from the 11th of December 2021. And you can see here, above the United Kingdom, We have Germany, France, Sweden, Finland, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, Ireland, Denmark, Spain, Malta, and Portugal. Hmm. Program, and I believe I mentioned earlier in the uh, the happy fish that we have, Mr. Deputy Speaker. So, (sighs) not happy fishermen, though. Yes, the fish are happy because fewer people are catching them because they can't export them due to the type of Brexit that Jacob Rees-Mogg and Boris Johnson wanted. Not sure how happy they are also swimming in raw sewage. What a charlatan this man is. He's a joke. Businesses have moved operations to the EU, and those who have not are struggling at the moment. But this is all just something to laugh at. A bit like the lockdown rules, huh, Jacob? You know, the way you're laughing at those. You're laughing at people now as well. Laughing at fishermen, laughing at farmers, laughing at businesses that are struggling. It's all a big joke to Jacob Rees-Mogg. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.